about the Hemsley Fraser point of view on a few different things. Would you tell me a little bit about how Hemsley Fraser goes about forming that point of view and developing their insights? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things we've been working on for a number of years now is forming and creating our design consortium. Um, And historically, this group was put together to really think about what our core was, what does it get made up of. So when we think about our core, that's our core content. Um, And, you know, originally we had used the Harvard competency framework to really map um, the, the top it was 80 topics at at the time, to think about what what is it that every organisation needs in terms of those soft skills. Um, And that's really where we started in terms of building all of our digital content and virtual content. Um, But since then, we've really grown in our maturity around what does our design consortium mean and really started to think about, okay, this this is our brain, this is our insights hub. Um, and we have brought in a number of, of different people into that into that design consortium, um, including some uh, top consultants, um, some of our uh, top experts around uh, virtual learning, um, and some of our, our, our um, people and associates that have worked with us that work with some of our top clients as well in terms of design. So this this consortium isn't only thinking about our design standards and um, how we uh, how we go about designing um, for our customers they're really thinking about okay so what's our point of view on things Um, we've done a number of surveys recently that has given us some great insight into um, the L&D community we had over 3,000 people respond to one of our surveys which has given us a, a really good insight into um, some of the challenges um, in L and D at the moment. So we use some of that insight to say, okay, so this is what the L and D community is saying in terms of the challenges. What are some of our solutions? What can we see as the golden threads? And what are our point of view around that? And I think that's that's something that is really starting to be a, a real fundamental part of our business, um, and making sure that we are we are doing some of that thinking and being able to share that with with customers. Um, We're also making sure that we've got um, some of our kind of core data being fed in there. So where we are looking across all of our different hubs and, and looking at the big data that sits behind those analytics, we can see what kind of um, assets are trending the most across multiple different customers and including our, ourselves, which when you look at it, you've kind of got an audience of over a million people and looking at what is really working, um, what is really working within organizations um, in terms of asset types, length of content, um, pages of content, how to design things. So it's it's using data to form our design standards as well as our insights um, in terms of creating that point of view as well. Would it be fair to say then that it's a little bit similar to what Hemsley Fraser does across the organisation uh, in that the design consortium has experts, they have opinions, but we're also listening to what is going on in the sector and formulating an approach. Absolutely, and that's why we wanted to bring in some you know, really top consultants who kind of come to us with their point of view, but also use some of our associates who are working alongside our customers to ensure that we've got that voice of the customer. Um, we also invite our customers in to um, be part of that design consortium um, to challenge any any of the thinking that we have or, or just kind of be part of that discussion together so that we can have a really rich conversation and make sure we're always challenging ourselves in terms of that that next step, that development um, and, and thinking about that kind of continuous improvement for all of our content where we might have gaps um, you know, what, what is the next big topic area? What's the next big thing? Um, we've got to continuously be, be thinking about how to, um, how to develop and improve on, on all of that. Um, so our design consortium is really critical in making sure that that happens. And the experts and the range of, of different experts in there is, is really, really key. That's great. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks.